Hello everyone and welcome to my final video of 2015, my final movie review of the year. And it's a good one. It's one I've been wanting to see for a long time now. One of the most anticipated films of the year from one of my favorite filmmakers of my entire movie loving life. This is my review of The Hateful Eight. In 70 millimeter, the over three hour version with the overture in the beginning and an intermission in the middle. And on film, I saw it on film. I found the one theater right now in Las Vegas, Nevada while I'm on vacation. And I have officially, it's the last day of 2015. Happy New Year to anybody watching this after the fact. But I found it. I've been wanting to see this movie for such a long time now. I'm not going to go in detail of the plot. I'll just tell you that it takes place a few years after the Civil War and the movie stars Samuel L. Jackson, Damien Bashir, Tim Roth, Bruce Stern, Jennifer Jason Lee, Kurt Russell. Don't want to forget. Don't want to forget. Breathe. Uh, uh, Waylon Goggins. And number eight of the Hateful Eight, can't forget, don't forget, you got it, it's right on the tip of your tongue, buddy. It's right there, Michael Madsen. The film also does have a supporting cast that includes Zoe Bell, the great stunt woman and actress that's worked with Tarantino for many years, and of course, Chatting Tatum. Yes, Chatting Tatum's in the movie, not going to say where, got to see the film to find out. Okay, so how did I feel about this movie? I had so much hype about this film. Saw the few trailers, didn't read any reviews before watching it. Gotta change my battery because my battery's dying soon, so if it dies, I'll continue on another camera. New camera, new sound. Okay, here we go. So I tried to stay away from all the reviews. Anybody of my friends were saying I wanted to go in this movie perfectly blind, especially when it came out to other people's thoughts, because I love Quentin Tarantino. He is one of my favorite filmmakers of all time, as I had mentioned before, so I was very excited to see this film. And once the movie began, I knew I was in the mind and heart and soul of this amazing filmmaker. The movie looked amazing on screen. It looked so rich in detail with the landscapes and everything that you could see on the screen. I just loved to see all the scrapes and cigarette burns when I was watching the film. I love digital, I love the digital era, but I just love seeing something on film again. It was so nice to see this on film. That's uh, one of the most amazing things, at least from the, from the, from the, movie, the, movie, the, movie, the moment the movie started, okay? Just to see it like that. Just the great landscape, the great cinematography. This Quinn and the cinematographer have worked together before, and I believe the cinematographer has won Oscars, especially working with uh, Martin Scorsese. Uh, just great locations, great set, great setup. We're in a few locations in this entire film. This is very reminiscent of Quinn Tarantino's first film, first official film, Reservoir Dogs. So keep that in mind before watching it. You're not going to see a lot of locations, mainly. A little bit outside, a little bit of uh, inside uh, a stagecoach, and then when we get to the main location of this cabin, mini uh, Habernassi or something like that, whatever it's called, we're in there meeting all of these interesting characters and trying to figure out what the hell is going on as we're listening to this amazing, uh, incredible orchestrated dialogue. It just felt so beautiful, like someone was there, like Quentin Tarantino was in the audience just conducting all of this as we are watching this happen on screen. And I loved just listening to this amazing dialogue. You get an idea of the characters, idea of the story, what is happening, and, 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 and a, a slight idea of kind of where it might be going, even though I didn't have a clear idea, just knew that this is how Quentin Tarantino works. He had a lot, a lot of setup. If you pay attention, you give it your time, you give it your all, you are in there, and when the payoff happens, it is so rewarding, even to the bitter end when you get depressed, when you know it's coming to an end. I was very sad. I was like, okay, I think it's going to be wrapping up now. We've been in here for three hours, which include everything, the overture, the intermission. Everybody walked away during the intermission to go get some treats or go to the bathroom, so it was kind of interesting. Have that experience. 
that was another amazing uh, uh, thing about the film is to have that experience of you know this the collective experience of seeing a movie with a major audience. It, it was a full house. And then we all get up during the intermission to go to the bathroom and come back and sit down and watch the rest of the film. And you, you just can't have that experience anymore in the cinemas. I totally understand why. Most movies are two hours. I totally get it. Or you could just stay home and watch it on your computer. Or you could stay home and watch something else. But when you see a Quentin Tarantino movie, you have to go to the theater. This is a theater-going experience. I want to commend the great makeup effects Greg Nicotero and his team, as you expect, he's been working with Tarantino for a while now, and of course he also does The Walking Dead. Great practical, visual, f violent effects uh, throughout the film. Uh, the acting, uh, especially by Jennifer Jason Leigh, just, uh, just her interaction with the rest of the cast. I'm not knocking anybody else when it comes to acting in this film, but for me, the standout was Jennifer Jason Leigh uh, and, and Samuel Jackson. And Kurt Russell. Oh gosh, everybody was a pretty much a standout. They they each got time to say what they wanted to say, uh, or at least a scene where they were the star of the movie. Uh, this is an ensemble cast, so some people can get lost in the mix. Um, but I felt like everyone was placed perfectly into the film and added so much to the overall experience. This is the first time that Quentin Tarantino has used a orchestrated score specifically written for his movie. And this one comes from Marconi. Of course, the guy who's, I don't know how old he is, he's really old. But that hasn't stopped him from working and creating great music over the many years. Of course, working uh, with Sergio Leone and on The Untouchables and on The Thing and The Exorcist. And, and so... There is source music that is used, like a normal Tarantino film. Uh, I noticed that there was some music from other Marconi films put in the film, but it seemed like there was some original, original music written by Marconi for this film. And that is a rare feat for the Tarantino movie. So that was really nice as well to have that a part of the film. And it was a really great score. I can't wait to own the soundtrack. I own all the other soundtracks. I got to own this one. This is the eighth film from the master himself, Quentin Tarantino. No one makes a Tarantino movie like Quentin Tarantino. No one makes a movie like Quentin Tarantino. I don't have any problems or issues with the movie at this time. Maybe after repeat video, I might see some certain mistakes, but I was so emotionally involved into the story. I cared about the characters. I wanted to figure them out. I love that it was all in one location. It felt like going to the theater and seeing a live play and having an unfold in front of you. The movie also is extremely hilarious, as you expect from Tarantino. Yes, this is a lot of drama and action in the film, especially when it comes to the dialogue, but there's so much great humor that you expect from this man. And the cast just read his dialogue so perfectly. Some have worked with Tarantino, of course, in the past. Others are working with him for the first time. And they all feel like they belong. They belong to be there. And I was so grateful to be a part of this film as well as an audience member witnessing this latest film from Quentin Tarantino. If he just has a few films left, I welcome those and I can't wait to see. He is one of the only filmmakers, one of a few filmmakers in the world, in my opinion, that has never made a bad film. If you include Reservoir Dogs On, not his previous work he probably worked on before that, Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs On, he has never made a bad film. You may not love it as much as I did or as much as his other films. Uh, it's definitely in my top five of the Quentin Tarantino movies out there, and I just... I love this film so much, and it is one of the best films of 2015. I'm going to place it somewhere, hopefully close, on my list for the best films of 2015. And if you love Quentin Tarantino, I think you're really going to at least enjoy this film. Maybe not as much as me, but yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it, especially if you just let it happen with you. It was an amazing experience, a great experience, and I'm so glad I finally got a chance to see it. For that, I am going to give The Hateful Eight, the brand new Quentin Tarantino, Tino film number eight. I'm going to give it a solid four stars out of four. All right, everyone, again, thank you so much for watching me for the last four years of my life. 
I really appreciate my audience. I don't care if it's big, small, or just a few people. I really appreciate you checking out my reviews, commenting, and hopefully look forward to more videos coming from me in the next year as I start my fifth year on YouTube. I can't believe it's happening. But I appreciate all the friends and the people that I've met and talked to through this wonderful, crazy, weird YouTube experience. And I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to all my friends. You know who you are. And all the people that comment, you know who you are as well. And anybody that comes along their way and has nothing nice to say, thank you and you know who you are. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Again, Happy New Year 2016. And I hope everyone had a great holiday and safe. Be safe and always live film. Some people watch it, but we, you, we, me, you, we, we all live it. Bye. Peace be with you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel, and also please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day, live film, find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do, and I'll talk to you at my next movie review.